Latest on still tropical storm Vong Thong as it's moved more to the northwest rather than the west-northwest, finally making that turn over the past 12 hours. 65 miles an hour is the latest maximum wind speed with a minimum pressure of 990 millibars. Still a generally weakening storm, but the weakening has slowed down quite a bit. It's still a high-end tropical storm, stage 3 on the CDPS scale, significant damage possible, limited mostly by the small wind field. We're currently looking at the storm located at 15 degrees north and 121.3 degrees east. Distance from land masses right now, or land locations, it is in land already. 13 from Nozagare, 19 from Angat, 24 from San Miguel, 30 from Gapon City, and it actually has passed Manila now. We're 35 miles away from Manila at this point in time. Here are the signal warnings right now. Signal 2's in effect for much of Luzon still. Uh, those will stay in effect for quite some time. And signal 1's over pretty much all of Luzon that does not include areas under Signal 2. Uh, fortunately, most of the coal, and especially fortunately, Samar, no longer have any warnings related to those areas. Here's some of the GFS um, computer model run, the recent one at least. Uh, you can kind of see the precipitation mass of the storm uh, move away within the next 36 hours or so away from the Philippines at least. It could make a bit of a closer approach to Japan as it gets absorbed by a larger system um, heading into next week. And then on the left you do see a potentially very large threat to uh, anywhere from India to Bangladesh to Myanmar. Um, that's designated as a tropical depression now by Force 13. Sea surface temperature is not really going to matter too much for the storm as uh, it's basically shredded to bits uh, in terms of its structure and upper level winds won't be too favorable afterwards. But north of the Philippines we are still looking at um, temperatures that would be conducive enough uh, to hold tropical systems. Uh, here's the wind speed forecast from the GFS. It's a little bit old uh, but it works fine. Uh, you can kind of see still significant parts of northern Luzon could get tropical storm force winds over the next several hours uh, to 24 hours before the system moves to the north and the northeast away from the northern tip of the country. Um, Riku Islands and Taiwan might get skirted with some adverse conditions but nothing too significant. And you see there this Bay of Bengal system potentially a category 3 plus storm impacting um, anywhere from India to Bangladesh to Myanmar. We will be monitoring that. Tetra storm force winds, Manila up from the last time to 65, mostly because the storm still moved a bit west of forecast, but uh, conditions there in terms of wind speed will be lessening from here on out. The other areas are all either directly under the storm right now or will be in the very near future, so their odds are still very high. Here's an image of a track forecast spread. It doesn't have all the new models yet, but it has a couple of them. You can see a pretty strong consensus of the northwest move closer to north-northwest now. Um, all the way to the northern tip of the Philippines before move out to the northeast and dissipation overall. But you can see wind swath will show potential tropical storm force winds extending as far as southeast of Tokyo. Here's uh, the satellite imagery. Still a pretty disheveled looking storm. Maybe you could argue a bit better than the last update 12 hours ago. But overall, still a very dangerous storm as 300 millimeter plus of rainfall is possible in significant land areas across northern Luzon. Despite the fact that this storm has weakened in wind speed, that does not mean it is no longer a dangerous storm. It is still life threatening, and if you are in harm's way, you should pay attention and stay safe. You can find us at our outlets, force13.com, at your service with the new Cyclone Tracker, always being up to date. We can also find us on YouTube if you're not here already. Make sure to subscribe as well. And we're also on Facebook, Force13, to find us there for our latest information. And we're also on Twitter, it's at Force13, to see our latest graphics and posts. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a Patreon. More information is available at patreon.com forward slash force13. And you can also become an ultimate fan here on YouTube for lots of perks for supporting us. You can also contact us on Discord. Join the Discord server, links in the description below. Or message full13 at extension 9094 on Discord.